part two of this three-part series on the Lotani Pass covers the section from the 9th to the 14th kilometer and includes the two main river crossings. If you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch part one first, which includes the Google Earth orientation animations, as well as other important information pertaining to history, safety and tourism. Located to the east of the Loteni Nature Reserve, the Umkamasi Nature Reserve is located on the southern part of the central Drakensberg, 100 kilometers from Peter Maritzburg. Umkamasi is 6,000 hectares in size and forms part of the Melodi Drakensberg Park World Heritage Site. The Umkamasi section of the Drakensberg Park is one of the most isolated and least explored mountainous areas of KwaZulu Natal. The area is not attached to the main escarpment and comprises of a number of elevated ridges protruding towards the midlands and Umkamasi is characterized by numerous high altitude wetlands, deep gorges and rolling prairie-like grasslands. It's home to a variety of mammal and bird species and black wildebeest, mountain reedbuck, grey reedbuck and ilanto more commonly seen mammals, but caracal, serval, porcupine and otter are also found in this area. Some of the more common bird species include bokmakiri, golden-breasted bunting and stone chat, and if you're lucky you may see lamachair, cape vulture or even a black eagle. Umkamazi is one of the few areas in the Berg where one can hike for days without seeing another soul. It's the ideal destination for a wild demanding hike. To the northeast of the pass is the small village of Nottingham Road. It lies about 19 kilometers south of Moy River and 60 kilometers northwest of Peter Maritzburg. It was founded in 1905 and named after the Nottingham Regiment which was stationed there when trouble was expected from the Basutu in the 19th century. Settlers from Scotland settled the area in the mid-19th century and at the end of 1885 the railway reached where the town now lies before which the area was named after the contractor as Harrison's Camp. For two years it was known as Karkloof Station but since Karkloof and the nearby Karkloof Forest were far away and nobody from there used the station it was renamed Nottingham Road after Fort Nottingham down the road. The station started developing the area as a rural center. At the 10 km point on the pass, there's a chicane section consisting of two 180 degree bends, first to the right and then to the left, as the road rapidly loses altitude towards the bottom of the Loteni River Valley. The river is crossed via a narrow single lane bridge at the 13.5 km mark, which also marks the lowest point of the pass at an elevation of 1,245 meters. At Nottingham Road, a small hotel and store were established where George Nichols Smithy would later be and now the location of the Mount West Liquor Store. In 1889, George Orwin bought the land where the railway hotel, which is today known as the Nottingham Road Hotel, would be built by C. Morgan and finished in 1891. In April 1884, John King donated the grounds where a small wooden iron Presbyterian church known as St. John's Gowrie would be built and it opened in February 1885. A memorial to those from the area who lost their lives in World War I opened on the church grounds near the entrance on January 26, 1992. The Nottingham Road Farmers Association, one of the oldest agricultural societies in South Africa was founded on October 26, 1887 by 11 prominent local citizens in the Railway Hotel. Their meeting hall, a long-time project, opened in December 1933. Today, it hosts the Nottingham Road Landowners Association as well as the local library. The hall is used for the association's meetings and also rented out for other functions. In 1866, the first sheep were brought from the Cape Colony via a thousand-mile overland journey. Livestock theft by local sand people led to the 1869 reprisal launched from Fort Nottingham. The campaign, which established the boundaries in the settlers' favour, was commemorated in some of the final sand rock art. In Heimvoll, the local museum has fossils and Stone Age artifacts to a comprehensive display on the Bushmen, the early settlers, as well as African beadwork and artifacts. The display also covers the Anglo-Boer War, as well as the two world wars. Be sure to watch part 3 and the final video in the series on the Lutani Pass.